Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's so wonderful to lay eyes on you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And today, this is a message that I wanna actually have someone tell me every single day of my life. So I'm working on telling myself this every single day of my life. It's all about our spiritual integrity. You know, it's fascinating, right? Because spiritual integrity simply means that you make good on your good intentions. And I think so often in life on the spiritual path, we have a list of all the things that we wanna get done in the world. Some of them are about what we're gonna do out in the world and our purpose with our passion. Some of the inner work we do and how it is that we, we utilize self-compassion and self-acceptance and self-awareness as a spiritual practice. But when it comes to integrity and character, that's when it removes itself from the intellectual and becomes spiritual. And I think the spiritual practice is simply when we make good on the good intentions. We all know we've got work to do and we all know what our best work looks like. But we also know the pain that comes with when we actually sit it out. We look at it, we think about it, we process it, but we never lean into it and live it. So today, I'm encouraging with all my heart, take a good soulful look inside of yourself and simply ask yourself, what is your spiritual work that you need to make manifest to give yourself the sense of peace, the sense of purpose, the sense of passion that you desire in your life? Spiritual integrity is the great work of our life. And when you look around the world right now, you know, you know how important it is, right? It's so easy to get caught up in the group mentality and the group think and get into that space of separation from others. There is no doubt in my mind, I've seen it physiologically, I've seen it neurochemically, I've seen the science, that we become a force for hope and leadership and we galvanize union of common humanity when we do our personal work. Our personal work becomes communal energy. So today, go deep, go deep inside. Do it with a level of humility and grace. See where your greatest opportunity is to love. Do it first for yourself. Close the gap on your good intentions and watch your spiritual integrity and character. Do what it came here to do. Literally raise and shine a light into all beings. So we come together as one. One love, one love. Much love, many blessings. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.